Hey everybody, my name is Roger Reitz and I am a teacher at Gulf Shores Middle School in Gulf Shores, Alabama. I originally started building these courses for our teachers, but after digging into it for a little while, I realized that, you know, there's a lot of other folks out there that could benefit from them too, so I'm going to go through and rebuild some of them so that all teachers need access to it, no matter where you're at, can maybe hopefully get some gain from it. Our school system initially adopted Canvas last year as a trial program and I was one of the few teachers that said yep I want to do that and I got on to it dug into it pretty good and I really liked it it does a good job of telling of pre allowing the kids an online learning platform that they can use either in class or at home or both and most of our other teachers last year chose to just stick with Google Docs because there's no guarantee that we'd get Canvas the following year and why put all that work into something that you don't know you're going to get back and I totally get that. Well that was all well and good until the COVID hit and when the COVID hit now all of a sudden my class was totally 100 percent ready to go because everything was already built on Canvas and we just picked right up where we left off those that were not on canvas they had to do a lot more work and google docs as great as it is it's not really designed for distance learning i mean we made it work but it could have been a whole lot better so with that said i'm going to start off by going over some information with you on what options you have for logging into canvas and a basic setup that i've done for me depending on how you get put into Canvas will depend decide how you log into it. For our school system, if the school takes and puts you in at the start of the year through iNow or something of that nature, you're going to get something that looks like this. Sorry, I didn't have that preloaded already. For us, we would take and go under, hmm, where is it at? Quick Links and then Canvas and then we would click on Canvas but something that is important to know is that you have to already be logged into Google your Google account for our school system because our school system is using Google to log in and because I'm already logged into my Google account it went straight there now if I was not already logged into my Google account then when the first time you go to that canvas link it's going to ask you how do you want to log in and for us it's log in with Google click that put in your Google information and you're good to go the other possible way you may get logged into it would be going through an email now this is what's going to happen if you're added after the fact if you're added after the fact you would be taking in Get, if the teacher was to add you to the course you would get an email that looks like this and all you would have to do once again already be logged into your Google account and then click the get started and it will carry you on from there now it has to be the same Google account that your school system's using not not a personal Google account the one that your school system would be putting you under there is a third option which is great for teachers who want students to be able to self-enroll themselves and for that option I'm going to click on just one of my classes here and I'm going to go down to settings and under settings I'm going to click course details and I'm going to scroll all the way down and cl um, click under the more options under more options there's a link here that says let students self-enroll with a secret URL and with that if you activate that then they will give you a link and you can post that link someplace your students can connect to it and they click on that and boom they're automatically enrolled in your class so that's three different options of how you can possibly get your students into the class and get them signed on now with all that said I do want to take a minute and actually go through one of my classes and just show you some of the options now our school system requires us to have a landing page or a um, front page personally I'd rather just go straight to modules but they want us to all have a page saying whose class it is and I guess you all need to see my shining face there and so now I'm going to click on modules from there which I built into it and under that let's close that one out and let's look under test period one the way I have my lesson set up this is just me 
you can do what you want to do I start off with a video of every single lesson and I'm all my videos are linked to my Google account so I had to take in um, activate my Google Drive you see over here on the left hand side but that's not that hard to do the students can watch a video of the lesson if they're not at school that's the same exact lesson I present in school after that they click next and here they have their assignment I've got their textbook screenshot placed it in here everything is ready to go for them to do their work and you can see up here at the very top there's the assignment today along with some basic instructions once they have finished their assignment then click on the next tab and this is a place for them to show turn in their work now this is in the teacher view not a student view so the student view does look a fair bit different let me go back to regular math here I'm gonna hit view student view and now the student view hit modules I'm gonna go down click on the same thing the video comes up first which is not gonna show this time because the videos won't show in student view from your yours to show it for the kids to see there's the assignment just like they would have click next again and then right here as you can see the top right hand side submit assignment that is where the assignment is submitted at now I'm gonna leave my student view here and I'm gonna go back to my modules for a minute because I want to show you some other options that I have put into mine I've got review assignments such as this one and my review assignment is the same exact thing as my test Oh, excuse me, my vocab quiz. So if I was to take and set that for a preview, you can see here is a practice quiz that does not count for a grade, but it is the same exact thing as I have for my real quiz. So that is a good way to get your students to review things. Um, there's also, I have extra credit programmed in here. I've got some chapter tests programmed in. So what's the extra credit one look like for me? It looks kind of like this. Of course, I do teach math, so all of my problems are going to be math related and um, that's just, just some ideas we're going to talk more about what to do and how to do this stuff in later lessons this one was just about getting you logged into canvas getting you up to speed a little bit on what it, you can do with it and then we're going to pick up from here in the next lesson